Welcome. So, um, we'll be starting our dynamical system course with how to solve systems of linear ODs, ordinary differential equations. So, from our primary days, we've been learning how to solve equations. And, for instance, one equation that we've been really learning how to solve is linear equation. And we know solving linear equations are very simple. So, when you have this equation x plus 3 equals 5, for instance, we know this is a scalar linear equation where we can easily solve for our x. And we've also been learning how to solve systems of linear equations where we can have something like x plus y equals 3, maybe 2x minus y equals 4. So you see, this is a system of linear equations. Just like us, we have a scalar linear equation and system of linear equations. We also have a scalar differential equation. So you see, differential equation is just an equation which contains um, derivatives and unknown functions. So for instance, when you have something like dy dx equals dx, you realize that this is a scalar differential equation. And sometimes we can have systems of differential equations. So, sorry, let's name here ey. So we can say that this is a scalar differential equation. Then we can have a system of differential equations like dx dt equals, maybe let's say 2x plus 3y, and dy dt equals 3x minus 2y. So you realize that this was a scalar differential equation, but in this example, we have systems of differential equations. So you realize that um, we've learned from our differential equation course how to solve scalar differential equations like this. Right now, the issue is how to address them when you have a system of them, when they are 2, when they are 3, when they are 4. So that's a problem that um, we try to address um, in this course. So when you have a scalar differential equation like um, dx dt equals ax, you know this is a scalar differential equation and then when you solve this scalar differential equation, you end up with x of t equals, um, let's see, a certain b e a t. So this is what you end up with. This becomes the solution to this um, differential equation here. So that means you get an exponential function. And this exponential function that you get here, the b here, the b here is our argon vector. And the a here is our argon value. So what it means is that when you are solving um, a differential equation, the solution that you get is just a mixture of its argon vectors and its argon values. So that means when you have our systems of um, ordinary differential equations and you want to solve them, then you are supposed to find argon values and argon vectors. So for instance, when you have a system of um, linear differential equation, you write it in this form where the x dot here which in some cases you can find x prime just contain the derivatives and the a is our coefficient matrix and this is our vector x so the a is always our coefficient matrix so when you are being given the system you are supposed to transfer the system into this form so for instance let's say we have this system dx dt equals a1 x plus b1 y and dy dt equals a2 x plus b2 y. Now given a question in this form, we are supposed to um, put it into this form where our x dot here stands for this vector and this is equal to a, and our a is just the coefficient of x here, so we have b1 here, we have a2 here, we have b2 here, and our x 
So here x will just be the vector x, y. So this E becomes our coefficient matrix. And mostly all the things that we do, we use this E to do it. So what we do is that we find for argin values and argin vectors. So you know before we can find for our argin values, we use the formula, the determinants of A minus lambda i equals zero. And when we use this formula, we end up with a characteristic equation. So for instance, if you consider a three by three system, so a three by three system of um, ordinary linear equations, then our characteristic equation will be of the form minus lambda q plus the trees of A lambda square minus the principal minor of a lambda then plus the determinants of a equals zero so you know this one is um a polynomial of order three so when you are solving this particular um cubic equation here you know we have three conditions it could be that one you have real and distinct range so that means all our three values will be real and they will be distinct it could also be that we have repeated roots. There are the three repeating all two of them. And we can have complex roots. So, when you find the argon values, as to whether we end up with real and distinct roots, repeated roots, and complex roots, you know, when you are finding for the argon values, the approach we use for, to find the argon values I'm sorry, when you're finding for the argon vectors, the approach we use to find for our argon vectors depends on whether our argon values are real and distinct, they are repeated, or they are complex. So when our argon values are real and distinct, we have an approach that we follow to find our argon vectors and um, get our general solution. When it is um, repeated, so we have an approach we use, and when it is complex, so we have an approach we use. So this is an introductory course to... Um, introductory lesson to the topic so in our next videos we will be considering those cases so you consider when you have run distinct roots when you have repeated roots and when we have complex roots so thank you very much